Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Dr. Hovanesian, who is here from Harvard Eye. Well, doctor, thank you for joining me. It's nice to see you again. It is great to see you as always. <laughs> well, this is an interesting subject because I always thought that when you have a droopy eyelid and, you know, it can cause some vision issues, that most people would just have it operated on and then be done with it. But some people probably can't do that. So this is an interesting um, subject matter. So, so tell me what we're talking about. Well, so droopy eyelids are a very common problem as we have more birthdays. You know, unfortunately what happens in the body as we age is that everything becomes a little more stretched out and loose. How can I say this nicely? <laughs> and so our eyelids, uh, you know, can, can change. And uh, most of us, our eyelids, you know, come down just a little bit over time because of changes in the connective tissue. Sometimes there's also excess folds of skin that can weigh them down. And sometimes our, our whole brow, our, our eyebrows hang lower than they used to because of laxity in the skin of our forehead that happens as we age. Mm -hmm. And all of these can contribute toward droopy eyelids. And the, you know, the, the definite surgical treatment we use depends upon what mix of causes are. But one really neat thing that we have now is an eye drop that helps treat droopy eyelids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to talk about today. So interesting that that just a liquid could could pretty much lift your eye. I mean that that seems impossible to me. So so a, a how would it work? <laughs> what? How would it work? That's the question. Yeah, it's like how would that possibly work? So tell me how it works. Well, so it's called Upneek, U P N E E Q, Upneek, uh, and we have no financial interest in this product, but it's our patients certainly are interested in it because it addresses a problem that we haven't had an eye drop for before. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the muscles that lift the eyelid are uh, you know, underneath the eyelid and, and up above. And it turns out that putting an eye drop in the eye can get enough medicine up underneath the eyelid to get very close to these muscles and then to affect them and to cause about a millimeter, millimeter and a half lift. And so a lot of folks don't have, you know, really noticeably droopy eyelids. They have just a little bit. We've got a picture of a patient who has um, uh, particularly one eye. If you look at this patient, the eye shown on the right of the picture um, is, is the patient's left eye. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is a little bit more heavy. It's a little bit lower on the eye compared to the right if you look back and forth. Yeah. And it's, you know, about a millimeter of difference, not a huge amount. But it's enough that it makes her appearance not completely symmetrical, does it? Um, well, it turns out that if you put a drop of Upneek in, in just that eye, and we have an after picture as well, it will uh, it'll lift it up, and that will significantly alter uh, the way it looks. I think if you look in the after picture, you'll see a, a lot more symmetry. It looks like your two eyes are very similar. We see this a lot. Um, for reasons that we don't always uh, know why one eye is different from another, but as our, our, our faces age, things aren't as symmetrical as they were. Um, and, uh, and if both eyes are a little bit droopy, it'll, it'll lift them both. In this case, the patient just uses it in one eye. But um, uh, it's, a, it's a fascinating new offering that we now have for our patients. So tell me how, I mean, I understand that it's lifting the muscle under these. I mean, it almost sounds like a Botox kind of thing. Yeah, except Botox, of course, relaxes muscles, and this actually stimulates a muscle. Uh, it's called Mueller's muscle underneath the eyelid that lifts the eyelid uh, about a millimeter, millimeter and a half. Um, in our practice, this is mostly prescribed by our oculoplastic specialist, whose name is Jeff Jacobs, and uh, he is also the one who performs surgery. Um, how well does it work? It seems to work very well. Uh, that's, a, that's a question that, that we get periodically. And, and, you know, there are enough samples of it floating around that we can let people try it before we prescribe it. Um, typically, you put in a drop and it will work for anywhere from four to eight hours. Uh, and most often, close to eight hours. And so if you're going out for the evening or if you're going to be photographed or you, you know, you, you put it in once at home and, and you're done with it for the day. Uh, so it seems to work well. Any side effects? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, theoretically, there are. One of the nice things about eye drops is that um, it's a tiny dose of medication, and so there's not a huge amount that's put into the body. Um, it is a stimulant, and so it can raise blood pressure if yours is borderline. Most people just kind of monitor their blood pressure when they start it, and most do not find that it has any major impact on it. Um, 
It can also uh, cause some irritation to the eye and blurring of vision. But so far, we've really not had any significant complaints uh, from patients about that. So uh, fairly safe, a fairly safe drug to use. Is it something that if you were, um, if you're considering, or, or let's say if you're considering eye surgery for droopy eyelid or yeah. uh, I, I guess, you know, or you're just kind of tired of the way it's looking or I, I'm really not, I'm really not clear when would be the best time to actually look into something like this. These are great questions. And for each patient, things are a little differently. So uh, the picture, the before and after picture we showed was someone who just like a lot of our viewers has one eye that's a little different from the other. And when she wants to look her best, she puts it in and it, and it makes her appear symmetrical the way she wants to be. Other patients might have a lot of drooping of their eyelids and this might just help a little bit. And they might say, well, it's good, but I'd rather have surgery to have a, a definite fix. Um, and then still I have other patients who have eyelids that are heavy, but they also have dry eye. And if you have significant dry eye, lifting the eyelids with surgery can actually cause that to be worse in some cases. Right. This is why you wanna see a doctor who's really comfortable and specialized like our Jeff Jacobs uh, is in, in doing this type of surgery. But for some of those patients, we say, you know, you're maybe not a perfect candidate for having surgery, but you could use Upneak as often as you wish, and then you have the look you want. And if it does cause some dry eye, it'll only be temporary because once the drop wears off, the medicine wears off. And okay. so, uh, you know, the eyelids go back to the way they were. Man, that is really great. So how, how would somebody go about coming in to talk to you guys about how to use this? Or and so it's a, pres it's a prescription item. And so you would see your eye doctor to, uh, to evaluate you and see if you're appropriate for it. Um, in our practice, that would generally be with uh, Jeff Jacobs. As I said, he's our oculoplastic specialist. Uh, I wanted to bring it on the show today because it is a brand new uh, drug. It is now available, and uh, we have had a, a lot of interest from patients in it. And so we just wanted to help educate your viewers about you, this You can product. see it working right away, right? You see it, yeah. It, within just a few minutes, it starts okay. to work. And, you know, okay. what I've seen in patients is, after about you know 30 minutes, it reaches its per, its peak effect. So you know when you're getting dressed and uh, getting ready to go where you're going, that's a perfect time to put it in. Oh, it's <laughs> wonderful! Well, thank you so much for the new information. I think a lot of people will be excited about this. That's a really interesting new thing. You know, we we keep seeing wonderful advances in medicine and in eye care in particular, and this is one that you know I'm I'm kind of excited about because for a lot of our patients who either don't want surgery or maybe aren't quite ready for it yet, it really gives them a nice benefit. So we're excited to offer it to our patients. That's just great. Well, thank you so much. It was very nice to talk to you again. Great to see you too. All right, we'll see you soon. Stay well, have a good fall and we'll see you soon, yeah. And we'll be right back after this.